The ability to rebuild snowmen can come in quite handy, but don't be surprised if they turn out moody and cranky. Hi guys, my name is Gina Jamesville and welcome to day three in our Sims Free Play Snow Problem Quest. This is our Christmassy quest for 2017. I hope you have completed days one and two. If you haven't seen the videos for them, I will link them down below. But let's get started with day three. The grand prize for this quest is the Snow Chalet house template and what we are going to win today by completing day three is a set of rectangular chalet windows which look amazing. The first thing we need to do is to read email. Where is the delivery? Your sim is just about to return to the couch when they realise the sales notification comes in the form of an email. Read the email from the Impulse Buy Network on a computer. Computers can be found in the electronics tab of the home store. So if you haven't already got one, go into the home store, into the electronics section and buy a computer. I would recommend buying a three star computer because that will mean this will go quicker. We click on the computer, we need to read impulse by email for four minutes. We've finished reading the email, now we need to go to the park. Your sim reads the email. Due to local government zoning restrictions, your new item has been delivered to the park. Send your sim to the park. So out on the town map, click on the park, into the sim tracker and whistle your sim over. Inspect the bad luck locomotive. Your sim arrives a little perplexed. The postal service sure deliver things to the strangest places. Have your sim inspect the bad luck locomotive. <gasps> oh my goodness, look at this. Click on this and inspect for one hour. Your sim inspects the bad luck locomotive. Seems like the description was correct. It's not working. Thankfully, there's a manual. On a park bench, have your sim study the manual, the bad luck locomotive and you. So here we go. We have a little bench here. Click on it and where is study manual, two hours and 40 minutes. We finished studying, now we need to repair the bad luck locomotive. After reading the manual, your sim feels at one with the locomotive. Plus they know how to disable the bad luck distributor. Better get to work. Repair the bad luck locomotive. Let's click on it and repair takes five minutes. We've finished the repair, now we need to check the manual. Your sim gets to work and after successfully relocating a family of squirrels, their work is complete. Or is it? The locomotive is not starting. On a park bench, have your sim check the manual. So back to the park bench and check the manual is one hour and three minutes. We've checked the manual. Now we need to kick locomotive. Thankfully, the manual has a when all else fails section. It has a single instruction, kick. Have your sim give the bad luck locomotive a swift kick. Absolutely, if something doesn't work, give it a quick kick. Kick locomotive, 4 hours, 40 minutes. We've kicked the locomotive, now we need to get coordinates. The bad luck locomotive fires up. Wow, that never works. Time to get Mr. Floyd the snowman to give you coordinates to the ice palace. Speak to Mr. Floyd the snowman at a home lot to get the coordinates to the ice palace. So let's head home and you can go to any house for this. But let's click on it and get coordinates for 6 hours. That is complete, now we need to go back to the park. Your sim approaches Mr. Floy. Here are the coordinates, he says. I wish you luck with the ice cream. May you chill her frozen heart. Your sim is unsure whether Mr. Floy's words are encouraging or discouraging. Return to the park. Back out on the town map and click on the park. Into the sim tracker and whistle a sim over. And congratulations, you've completed the third set of goals in the Snow Problem Christmas Quest and earned some rectangular chalet windows. Task complete on that, now we need to wait for day four. Your sim arrives at the park, boards the bad luck locomotive, but as they turn the key, did the locomotive's engine just shudder? Better double check the karmic converter. Come back soon. So depending on how long it's taking you to complete days one, two and three, you may not get this pop-up. You may just be able to continue straight through to day four. But because I've completed it so quickly, I have to wait for tomorrow to be able to start day four. Let's check out the window prizes that we won with this part of the quest. So if we go into the home store and into the windows section, 
we can see we have, oh, quite a few new ones. Okay, so we have a chalet single blonde. We get a free one of these. Let's place one of each down. A chalet double blonde and a chalet triple blonde. So we get a free one of all of those. And then they are SP after that. A chalet single black. Let's go over to this wall. A chalet double black. And a chalet triple black. And then we have the chalet single white. Now these are SP to buy. We don't get a free one of these. So we've got a chalet single white. It's 8 SP. A chalet double white, which is 9 SP. And a chalet triple white, which is 9 SP. Wow, they are expensive, right? Hopefully some architect homes in the future will have some of these windows so that we can uh, get them for simoleons rather than SP. But wow, look at these. I love those triple ones, but I love all of them. Wow, they are nice, right? We have the three different colours, the white, the blonde, and the dark. Oh, they've disappeared. I think the blonde ones are my favourite. Let's have a little look what they look like from the outside. They look nice, right? So there you go, guys. That is day three of the Snow Problem Quest. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying the Christmassy themed quest this year. I know I definitely am and I am loving the prizes. Let me know how you're getting on down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you tomorrow for part four. Thanks for watching. Bye.